Hi folks and welcome back to the vlog on this gorgeous afternoon here in Cornwall. Um, I just want to give you some advice on the mediums used in paintings and how they work with light. Um, how What you can get away with as far as hanging light is concerned. Um, I'm going to cover just three or four main mediums at the moment and they will be oil paintings, acrylics, gouache painting and watercolours. Now um, obviously the most resilient of them all is oil painting. They can pretty much take most positions. Obviously if you're talking about a grand master you don't want that anywhere near the light. Um, but um, most oil paintings will take a lot of very exposed sunlight and they will take um, quite a lot of pounding so you don't have to worry too much. They're not glazed either which is because they're so protected and, and resilient as, as, um, as mediums. So you can put those in the strongest position uh, without having to worry too much about oils. Acrylics like oils are very resilient too. Um, Apart from the fact that they're water-based, they still have that intensity of colour and thickness of colour and thickness of texture. So they will also take quite a bit of um, wear and tear and, and exposure to light. Now, as we start to thin down through the mediums, the next one down would be gouache. And that is, well, it used to be mixed with egg white, I believe. But basically what it is, is like an acrylic paint, so a water-based paint that has been watered down. Now it's not as watered down as watercolors, of course, which is really, really thin. Um, so it has a bit of a cross point. So it's, it's not as resilient as acrylics, but not as sensitive as watercolors. So you've got a midpoint there. Um, and this, I wouldn't at all um, suggest you put it in exposed light, uh, but it will certainly be in, um, uh, in direct sunlight, I mean, but it certainly wouldn't be a problem in some sort of lighted area of the house, as long as it's not really harsh and hard on. The most sensitive, of course, is... Uh, watercolours. They really don't need to go near any light at all. They're all very little natural hard sunlight because they will wash uh, and lose their density of colour very quickly. You've probably seen it on antique shows that watercolours have really lost their, um, lost their intensity over time. So those absolutely you should keep away from any kind of direct sunlight um, and keep them in a, in a really guarded area with some natural, with some uh, home lighting. Um, you'll find that certainly watercolours and probably gouache paintings, almost certainly gouache, will be behind glass of some kind. And the reason for that is their sensitivity. So they will need to be protected um, now, of course, the downside about being behind glass is that when you put them in a, in a, in a situation like a home, you're going to get reflections off furniture and anything that's in the glass. Can you avoid that? Yes, you can. There are some fantastic non-reflective glazes these days. Some of them have downsides. Uh, some of them are that if you look at that painting from a certain angle, it will almost blur because of the texture on the glass to stop it uh, reflecting. Um, so you want to look into this in depth to see whether you want to go for a non-reflective. There is another style of non-reflective glass which is absolutely superb, however it's like it has a finish on the glass and that stops it reflecting in it. That won't affect the view of the painting but that that uh, covering on the glass is sensitive and if it's in an area like a bathroom or a dampish room or if you wipe it often you will wipe off that um, covering and then it will start to look really bad. So have a word with your framers about the best options for those um, but non-reflective as long as it's um, uh, in a uh, looked after well and lightly dusted as opposed to use any solvents or anything on it could last for years and could really give you much more enjoyment because there is nothing like glass, a painting behind glass, to really make a painting and the colours pop. 
I hope that's been helpful. Um, please let me know if I can cover any questions for you about um, your artwork and your collections. Um, and drop me a line at mark at the and I'll be happy to answer them for you if I can. Um, for now, I'm going to leave you with another of my favourite painters. Uh, I have so many, I know. Um, and I hope you enjoy their work. And I'll be back next week with some more advice. Hope it's been helpful. Bye for now.